We're here at ASCO 2015 talking about precision genomics. I'm here with Dr. Haslam. Now, Dr. Haslam, tell us why is precision genomics important for an oncologist across the country? Well, it really is the future of cancer treatment and really not only cancer, but treatment of all sorts of diseases. But in cancer in particular, it seems to be more advanced than in other fields. So the reason it's important is because we are able to learn more about a patient's cancer, about their disease, what's causing it, what's causing it to grow, what things we can do to stop it and prevent it from happening. It also helps us to be able to avoid certain drugs that may not work, and uh, therefore we're able to avoid a lot of the toxicities and, and morbidity that's associated mm -hmm. with those drugs. So tell me, Dr. Haslam, what is the difference between standard care versus precision genomics with a, a physical tolerance? Well, a lot of it has to do with the drugs that we use uh, in precision genomics and in, in the, in the way we treat the cancer patients. So traditionally, we've used chemotherapy in patients with late-stage cancers, cancers that are not considered curable. These chemotherapies are kind of a one-size-fits-all uh, approach to, to cancer care where they're really just killing all active cells that are dividing, and so we're left with a lot of those side effects like our hair loss and the nausea and the diarrhea and, and, and some of those issues that occur. Whereas these new targeted drugs, they, they're not without their side effects, but they're different side effects. Um, they're usually uh, much, much easier to tolerate. They're usually oral drugs that people can take at home, so they're not confined to an infusion chair or they're not confined to hospitalizations and ER visits because of, those, uh, because of the reduced side effects that come from them. So it sounds like it's a lot easier on the patient. It really can be, and it gives them a uh, much better quality of life because instead of spending all their time, like I say, in the clinic or in the infusion chair or visiting ERs and, ho and hospital visits, they're, they're actually at home with their loved ones taking a pill.